She is so prepared. She's so good at cooking. What I'm demanding a cake. I'm just kidding. I don't need no cake. <laughs> I do. I do. Yeah. You got us now? Okay, cool. And Anybody want to go first? Yeah, and please um, announce yourself by your name and affiliation. Hey, guys, it's uh, Merch Trapper Inside Pulse. Congratulations, Jake and Kelly. Thank you, Thank you so much. Um, I want to start with you, Jake, uh, and then move to Kelly. What does this win mean to you? And, Kelly, what does Jake's win mean to you? Um, it means the world. I, I think I went out of breath. Like, I lost all my breath when they announced my name. Um, you know, having Kelly believe in me from the get-go and be here tonight is just an incredible thing. I, and, honestly, that's what, like, I keep making fun of the other coaches because I'm like, why didn't you turn? <laughs> like, he was a one-chair turn. Like, other than the one season where Chris Blue was a one-chair turn, but he, she was the only one that could turn for him, Alicia. Like, he's literally the only person that's ever won the voice that everybody could have turned for. And it was a one-chair turn. I mean, it's just, it's amazing. And, it all, and it, it's like another extension of how cool this show is because people that might not get the opportunity get an opportunity. And then people that get a slight opportunity then end up winning. Like, that's amazing. Like, it's, I just think it's, it's, it's really cool, and it speaks, it speaks of how talented he is, of how cool he is as a person, and I don't know, I just feel super blessed. I wasn't lying when I was texting. I was like, man, I'm super blessed, like, to have, just to be able to be, you know, along for the ride, so, because a lot of people think that I did a lot, and I didn't. Like, he picked that beautiful Christmas song we sang yesterday. I'd never heard of it. It was so beautiful, and you picked your songs, and you were, like, really into them, so it was like, it, it, I've lucked out. Yeah! <laughs> Love it! <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, it's my code. Okay. Hi. Hi, Jake. Hello, this Sacramento. Is, uh, Sacramento. I made that his new hometown. This is Jennifer <laughs> oh, with News like TV. Um, so I'm so proud that Sacramento has made it. Um, I, I adore him. He's amazing. And we've talked to him all season long about what he's learned from you. But I'm curious, what have you learned about yourself from working with Jake? I mean, well, he's, it, it, it's, it's not, it's, I learned a lot about Jake each week because like literally he would not hide things, but then all of a sudden I'd be like, wait, what? I was like, you got that in your arsenal? Like, why didn't we bring that up before? Like, he's just super humble. Like, I mean, I grew up like, you know, everybody told me, my parents told me to have a servant's heart. Like that's how you should live your life. And like, he is a walking, breathing servant's heart. Like he's such a good dude. Like. And on top of that, like, I'm not joking. Like, there's, like, a microphone in his vocal cords. Because it's, like, how you project. Like, I have worked on this. <laughs> and you're just innate in you. And it's it's just a really cool thing to just be reminded of how someone just genuinely just loves music, loves singing, and everything is very pure. And there's no hidden agenda. And he just wants to be here because he loves singing. Like, that's a, it's a good reminder for us all that, you know, that get jaded sometimes, you know. He's such a great person. I know. I'm not kidding. Did I? That's your mama, though, and she's like shorter than me. Yeah, like, what mom, happened? Yeah. Like, I, I you're six idea. six, and your mom is like all of four eleven. Yeah, I think she's five foot. Where, oh, she's she is. five foot. She's five foot. I'm she's like, holding up her five. You're yeah. rocking, mom. I mean, that must have been a crazy birth. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> like I'm sorry. I'm like, wow. I'm like, all of a sudden, I saw your mama stand next to you, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> like. Daddy must be a giant. <laughs> Is that dad's what five six? What? Maybe? Yeah, five 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 six. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're just like you're a what? genetic experiment or something. I don't know. You know oh my just... gosh, <laughs> I wish I was tall. Spread some of this out. <laughs> like, anybody else? Yes. Hi, this is Cindy with Buzz. And I want to know, well, this is your third win, so you're catching up with Blake. That's yeah. so exciting. Congratulations. Yeah. So how does that make you feel? Oh, I mean, I literally, it's the biggest joke to me when people are like, congratulations me, because like I sat in a chair and wore some, you know, what some might think is a cute dress and some might not. Um, but I just, I just, you know, sat there and I encouraged him. I'm I am a pretty good cheerleader because I love humans. Like, I genuinely, even the ones that I actually don't like, I really try and find something I like. Like, I'm kind of that person. So, um, I just, I literally am a glorified cheerleader, y'all. Like, I did nothing. Like, he did everything. Bryn did everything. Chevelle did everything. Like, I, I just got to be there and encourage them and kind of push them in certain directions or push them to be more than maybe they knew they had in them. But that's all you, bro. Yeah? That's not me. But, uh, well... 
But I'd get I the trophy interject. too, yeah. which is awesome. <laughs> I got to interject and say that she she does a whole lot more than just sit there. I mean, she has she's helped me get out of my shell on stage and um, has really. I mean, and I, I say it in every interview, like you're you're just like the biggest cheerleader, you know, and I, and that I, means I, more than you know than you know. So I really do appreciate it. Well, I believe in you, so you are welcome. Hi, uh, Sam Davidson from MEA Worldwide. I think something that's so beautiful about both of you is you're both amazing parents. Um, have you guys bonded over that at all? And through the music, was there any performance that you really were able to relate to each other through your children? Uh, well, me personally, I just kept... I, I, I hate to be the warning girl, <laughs> but I am often in this industry when I come across people that are either just getting started or younger than me and... And it's, it's no lie, like, not even just in this industry, in any industry, it's hard to be a working parent. Like, it's hard to fit your kids in, your significant other in, like, your family. Like, it's a, it's a hard thing to do and also hold down a job that you really believe in and you're, in, and you're into. And especially this industry is very demanding. Like, so, you know, I've, I've always told them, like, I actually just, I was like, family is first. Mm -hmm. And for me, like, it, family is always first. Like, I think a lot of people put all their confidence and worth and value in this job and it's fleeting like we all don't we have expiration dates everyone does in every job you know so it's like I always really encourage them to just do this because they really love to because if you don't it's just a lot of work and you're not getting to be around your loved ones as much as you want to be you know so um I'm a Debbie Downer <laughs> I don't mean to be but I like to be realistic and and he loves like he's I asked him I was like are you so excited about going home and he's like I'm excited about getting in my recliner with my girls <laughs> and I was like we're so family <laughs> I love a recliner it's real. <laughs> well I will say um there was a moment I think when we came and visited your set when I had asked you what it was like being a parent and doing all this. And she told me, she said, you know, it's, it's all about being in the moment where you're at. Whether you're at work, like you're invested in your work. And if you're spending time with your family and your kids, it's all about that. No outside noise, no distractions, and, present. you know, being present. So that was a, you know, huge piece of advice that... Well, my mama was a single mom, y'all, so, like, she had to work. So it's like, I just think, but the, the time that she did have she'd try her damnedest to just be with me and be present. And I think that's important. You know, we all only have so much time, but as long as that time is valued, like, I think it's good. Anyone else? Yeah. Okay. Hello, so I'm Olivia Jeffor with So Delicious TV, <laughs> and my question is for Kelly N. Uh, Jake, um, Kelly, since you are also a contestant winner, do you have any advice for Jake? And also, well, I'll wait for you to answer that question. Oh, yeah. I, I'm, honestly, I, I was literally texting. Was that this morning or last night? Am I, am I drunk? I think it was this morning. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just tired. Um, it was this morning. That's right. That's right, because I've gotten news. Because um, you did some amazing things. Those are awesome. Um, but anyway, um, I don't know. I think, I think having been through it, I think the best advice is literally coming back to, like, never, ever, ever put your worth or value in this job. Um, and I think a lot of people fall prey to that mindset and they get lost. And then, you know, when they're not as famous as they were, they freak out and their identity is kind of, they're having an identity crisis. And this job is super fun. Like it's, this hobby is super fun and we love to be vessels for, for great songs that might touch people or move people. But at the same time, we have our own lives and you've got to invest in your family and you've got to invest in all that because that's what's going to be there at the end of the day, every day, not this job. So... And Jake, also, um, what advice do you have for anyone who um, does a competition like this, as well as a young person who kind of didn't see themselves making it this far? Any advice? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I think, you know, and I've said it multiple times, um, and my girlfriend's back there, and she can attest hey. to this. Um, you know, from the get-go, for a little bit, you know, I didn't think it was real. And then every step of the way, I'm like, all right, honey, I'll be home next week, or I'll be home, you know, after battles, or I'll be home after knockouts. And then in lives, I was just like, all right, I'm, you know, and I continued to, you know, doubt myself and stuff like that. And Kelly continued to encourage me. Um, and so if I can, if I can say anything, it's, it's stop doubting yourself, get out of your comfort zone, get out there and, and take a chance and no telling what you can do. Um, Rebecca Ray, Access Hollywood. Uh, first off, Jake and Kelly, congratulations. Thank you. Two-part question. Jake, how are you celebrating? And to Kelly, 
I know in the past you've had wagers with, with Blake about, yeah. you know, who if you win, what are you going to do if he wins? Now that you've won, what are you going to demand of him? Is he going to call you Queen Kelly Clarkson? Or are you going to make him do a dinner? I'm just going to, like, you? walk in. We're all going to a dinner tonight, so I'm just going to, like, walk in the room and just smile. <laughs> and just be like, I don't need to say anything. You know. Yeah, I don't need to say anything. I just brought this. <laughs> the trophy. I'm just kidding. No, I'm honestly, we're, we, like are literally like brother and sister since we fight nonstop and argue with each other. Never know when the other one's lying. Um, and anyway, but it's just, it's a fun dynamic. And, and it speaks, honestly, not just our relationship on the show, but with Gwen and with John. Like, this has been a really great, like, cast of people to work with. I've, you know, worked with all of them separately from this show, before this show, except for Gwen. And it's just, I think that really matters, you know? And it's just been a really, really good, like, mix. So, but what are you doing tonight? I'm going to be celebrating it with my girls. With your toddlers? Yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. With my, my girls. I, this, this has been an incredible experience, and uh, I will say the hardest part is just being gone from them. And so anytime I get to spend with them tonight, I'm looking You're forward to snuggles. it. snuggles. Yeah, oh, snuggles all the time. I Heck love yeah. snuggles. <laughs> my little boy's starting to lose the little three-year-old pudgy. I'm, I'm not ready for that. Oh, my god. She's got a good couple, yeah. 20 years. Oh, you know? my yeah. gosh. <laughs> Anybody else? Hi, oh, yeah. congratulations, Cassie, with entertainment tonight. Have to say, Kelly Clarkson beating Blake Shelton with a country artist. <laughs> Second time, just, I mean, who's counting? Just it's saying. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Really, how does it feel for both of you? Uh, honestly, I'm, I'm joking. Like, most of it, we're just messing with each other, uh, Blake and I. But um, it does feel good to, like, for me personally, just because I, I love artists I love music I love all different genres of music and like it is cool to like believe in something you hear and turn around and then this like change someone's life like and I know what that feels like because mom was not a waitress anymore I was a good one but you know I'm not a waitress anymore. like and I know what it's like to go through this process and it can be and it can be really hard and regardless not just Jake but Alex Gracie all my people like I'm I'm like you I give my no number like email like I love keeping in contact I love helping everyone not just Jake which I will help obviously but <laughs> I just mean I like I think it's cool to be supportive of everyone and y'all had a, an emotional moment tonight when Jake, when you thanked Kelly for making you a better man because of the love that she has for her children. I mean, Kelly, I know. We don't want to ruin any eyelashes here. I was like, it's here. really beautiful eyeshadow, Jake. <laughs> I was like, Kelly, what is it like for you as a mom to watch him share this moment with his family? Well, I think we definitely share the fact that, like, it's it sucks when you can't... You love what you do, but at the same time, when you can't be there and you miss, like, moments, especially when they're that little. They're, I mean, Macy's four, Hadley's four. Like, that's a... It's a cool stage, like, especially for little girls. Like, it's fun. And um, I was asking Macy, I was like, you miss your daddy? She's like, yes. But then she, like, was totally distracted by the confetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a pocket full. She handed I me a too. bunch. My yeah. assistant's <laughs> holding it. I'm not throwing it away. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's just kind of, it's cool to be able to talk to someone that gets it as well, like, being away from your kids and, like, wanting to be there for everything. But, you know, we're also providers. We're parents and we're providers for our kids, too. So you're welcome, children. <laughs> with a better life than I had. <laughs> we have time for one last question. Hi, Nicole with Us Weekly. Um, Jake, with the holidays coming up, how are you going to celebrate? And Kelly, what about you? And do your little ones still believe in Santa? Is that fun? Heck yeah, Santa is real. What? <laughs> yes, you go. Was there ever a question yes, that he wasn't ever. real? Come on. Now, uh, well, I've, a couple months back, um, I booked um, us all tickets. Me, Beck, and my girlfriend, the two girls, we're going to see the Nutcracker Ballet. Yeah. Um, and then after that, we're just going to, you know, hang out at the house, spend time with family. We've been gone for a while, and so getting back and seeing mom and dad and all of I'm one of nine, so all of us try to get together as much as we can, but during the holidays, it can get a little hectic. But um, honestly, just looking, like she said earlier, I'm just looking forward to getting back, watching the girls open presents, have them sit on my lap in my recliner, and just relax. Oh, and I'm going, okay, I forgot. Oh, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, me, me in Montana, y'all. I'm going to, we have a ranch in Montana, so it's going to be a snowy Christmas. Um, my husband's birthday was yesterday, so I got him two snowmobiles, kind of for me, too, because I want to ride them. Um, <laughs> but we're just going to, we love to get out in nature. Like, we both grew up in the, out in the country, and we're not really city people, so it's nice to get out and, like, have your kids doing, like, things outside, like, in nature. So that's, that's what we're doing the whole time, yeah. That's, right. You won't find me. I'm going to be lost in a ranch. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And congrats again, Jake. Congratulations, so Jake! 